Good morning, Rights for UMC. This is Christina Norville, your Director of Children and Youth Ministries. And I have my daughters helping today with Children's Sermon. Y'all want to introduce yourselves? I'm Fiji. My Mavis. Great. And we are excited to be with you this morning. Well, today is Baccalaureate Sunday, and that is the Sunday where we celebrate all the high school graduates from our church. It's a very special day in the life of our church. These high school graduates have worked super hard to get to where they are, especially this year with COVID. They had to do a lot of online school, as we know, and they finally have graduated. And today we celebrate them. So we're celebrating them in the sanctuary. We're also celebrating with them online today. Um, so I wanted to share with you guys some of the gifts that we give the graduates. And you guys, when you graduate, you might get the same gifts. I don't know, but we'll see. The first um, gift is a, their very own Bible. Mavis, do you want to hold it up? And it has their name engraved. This is Ella's Bible. And this is a very special Bible that they can keep with them throughout their life. No matter where they go, they will know that Bright Soul UMC gave them this Bible. And the other gift that they get is a copy of the book, All the Places You'll Go. Mom, I can put it down. Yeah, put it right there. Girls, do you know, have you ever seen this book, Virginia Gray or Mavis? Yes. yes. Okay, where have you seen it? Um, I see. We've seen it in school, we've learned about it in school, and we've seen it in the library and like bookstores. Cool! Well, Dr. Seuss is a very popular author, and he teaches us a lot of things in his book. Um, so what's cool about this book that the graduates get is it has Bible verses written on pages within the book that correspond with what, with what Dr. Seuss is trying to teach us. So not only is it a book, but it has Bible verses that they can reference. And I wish I had time to share the whole book with you, but we're just going to highlight some pages. And a special little story about this book is that I received a copy of this book from my youth director when I graduated high school. Mm -hmm. And I thought that this would be a cool gift to pass along to all the graduates when they graduate. I still have the copy of mine that I love. Okay, so let's check it out. This is Abigail's book. She was the um, graduate that read our Psalm of the Month on the online service. And we are going to read a little bit of her book, All the Places You'll Go by Dr. Seuss. Congratulations, today is your day. You're off to great places, you're off and away. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know. And you are the guy who will decide where to go. Psalm 138, 8, and Matthew 6, 25 through 34. Out there, things can happen, and frequently do to people as brainy and footsy as you. And when things start to happen, don't worry, don't stew, just go right along. You'll start happening too. 1 Peter 5, 7 and Jeremiah 29, 11 through 13. Good reading. You'll come to a place where the streets are not marked. Some windows are lighted, but mostly they're dark. A place you could sprain both your elbow and chin. Do you dare to stay out? Do you dare to go in? How much can you lose? How much can you win? And if you go in, should you turn left or right? Or right in three quarters? Or maybe not quite. Or go around back and sneak in from behind. Simple it's not, I'm afraid you will find, for a mind maker upper to make up his mind. That's Miss Christina a lot. Isaiah 30, 21, and Matthew 7, 7 through 14. Can you see the pictures? All alone, whether you like it or not, alone will be something you'll be quite a lot. And when you're alone, there's a very good chance you'll meet things that scare you right out of your pants. There are some down the road between hither and yon that can scare you so much you won't want to go on. 2 Corinthians 1, 3 through 5, oh, and Psalm 121. Mom, I can't see the picture in your book. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. On and on you will you will hike, and I know you'll hike far and face up to your problems, whatever they are. 
Philippians 4, 13, and Luke 6, 27 through 36. So be your name Buxom or Bixie or Bray or Mortache Alley Van Allen O'Shea. You're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting. So, so get on your way. 2 Corinthians 3, 2 through 6. So we hope you enjoyed all the places you'll go with Bible verses written in. And if you want to rewind it and check out all the Bible verses, you can. But we wish all of our graduates a happy graduation. And we love you guys. And we'll see you next Sunday. Bye. Bye. Bye.